channel and right now I have a very festive look that you can use for Cinco de Mayo that's coming up <laughs> or if you want to wear your Mexico shirt and you don't know how you want your makeup done if you want to go all out and you know like this is the perfect look you know what I'm saying um, my little cousin is having a little soccer team birthday party soccer team soccer theme birthday party so I felt like this was appropriate for the birthday party um the green could be a little bit darker I feel like um the flag on the color on the flag is darker than this this looks like a lime green to me if y'all want to know how I got this look and how to create this festive Cinco de Mayo a Mexican flag look then just keep on watching I thought it would be really fun to recreate like a Mexico flag look because I'm going to wear a Mexico shirt today. It's my little cousin's birthday and he's doing like a soccer theme. I was going to say team. A soccer theme. So I'm going to try to recreate a look that would go perfect with my Mexico shirt. So I'm going to do this like cut crease looking eyeshadow. I'm going to show you a picture right here. I'm going to try to put it up here somewhere. But I'm going to try to recreate that look because I feel like that's perfect and all the other looks sense a little bit too, too much. I'm not going to be adding glitter. That picture has glitter, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do the crease using the shade in my eye using the color. I'm going to use the peachy shade here so I won't drain out the colors by using too much brown. So I added a peachy tone there. So then up next, I'm going to go in with the this shade right here, which is a first taupey color. I'm going to run that um, on the outer crease here first. And make sure you're working your way. In. And I'm going to wing it out too, because that's how, that's, that's how she has it. I'm gonna see if I can pull this off because I'm not good with cut creases. I'm gonna let y'all know from the get, you know what I'm saying? But you want most of the color to be out here. You see? See what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna go in with the second brown here and mix it with this one. Just a little bit of that dark green though because you don't want it to be too, too dark. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's what we want. So I'm going to bring it out. So far, so good. I'm going to make sure everything is all blended out before I go in to cut the crease and adding the colors. I'm going to cut my crease with this brush. This was from the collection Knockout by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to go with the light sand on the Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my god, I never really cut the crease. Okay, somebody pray for me. All right, so she has it a little bit above her eyelid, I guess, so we can see the colors. Oh my god, I hope I don't fuck up. Okay. So I think I got it. Oh my god, I don't think. I So I changed my brush to a BH Cosmetics brush. Okay, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, I think I did pretty fucking good for it to be my first time. There you have it. I cut the crease, so it looks a little weird, but whatever. So now, for the fun part, we're going to go with the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And this one has so many eyeshadow colors that you can use for colorful looks. This is 35 different colors. Oh my god, I do have it. I have the Metals Matte, and I'm going to use this one and that one here mixed together. So I'm going to go with this one so it won't be so dark and forest greenish. So I think I'm just going to apply the green from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. 
because I think it's a little bit more vibrant. All right, so there I have both greens on both sides. And I use these three. I mix those three to get this green. And I try to dab into the moss color, but I feel like that was a little bit too dark. So now I'm going to go in with the red on the inner corner. Now that, I'm going to need the smallest brush I have. I'm going to go in with this one, which is another small red brush. And I'm going to really, really pack on. I went ahead and sprayed my eyeshadow so it can be so, so pigmented. Oh, hell yeah. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to go do the same to the other eye. Oh, bitch, I'm fucking shook. Alright, and... To make this... What the fuck? To make this look pop, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Paint in the color Jet Set Bond. And I'm going to go with this white. Bitch, I'm shook. This actually turned out pretty darn good. Put that in the center, like so. I'm gonna highlight using the double gleam on the inner corners. Now I'm adding some brown to the bottom of the lash, the lash, yeah, the lash line, and there you have it. Oh, actually, I have to put some lipstick on. Wow. So for the lipstick, I wanted to go. Should we go red? No. Let's go with something nude. So I'm gonna go with chestnut. Now, chestnut is a dark brown, but I'm going to apply some nude to it. And then I'm going to add baby doll to the center. That's the finished look. What? Do, how do you guys think I did? This was my first cut crease, so I'm actually pretty shook that it came out this good. Thank y'all so much for watching. That was it for today's video um this was a little different i always do natural everyday looks so i felt like you know what let me get out and about and do something different i cut the crease like i said previously i don't cut the crease ever because they never come out the same um this was a little bit high up but i don't think you can really notice um but yeah thank y'all so much for watching stay tuned for more videos and vlogs i have a vlog previously so make sure you guys check that out make sure to like comment and subscribe um and yeah thank y'all so much see y'all on my next video